opens with 11-year-old Satsuki and 4-year-old Mei riding in a truck making its way down a country road in rural 1950s Tokyo. Along with her father, the girls are on their way to their new home in the country. Their mother is recovering from an illness and they have bought a house to provide her a more healthy environment to recover in. A massive camp for tree towers in the sky as they approach the gateway to their home. Once they arrive, the girls immediately scamper up the trail dog under the camp for tree on their way to the house. They run around the house exploring, excited at all the room available in both the house and its acreage after the crowded apartment blocks of Tokyo. Satsuki comes across an acorn lying on the floor. She quickly finds another and wonders if squirrels are living in the house and leaving them behind. Mei quickly joins in the search for acorns. Their father tells them they need to open the storm shutters to start airing out the house, and the girls run off to do so. They open the back door onto the bathing area, and a cloud of black cinder puffs scatter into the cracks and crevices. Startled, they report what they saw to their father, who hypothesizes that they must be Makuro Kurosaki and explains that when you enter a dark place from bright sunlight, black spots appear before your eyes. Agreeing that what they saw must have been the Makuro Kurosaki, they start yelling for them to appear to no avail. Their father tells them to open the upstairs window, so off they go. Once they open the door, again they see a quick flash as the Makuro Kurosaki escape from the light. Satsuki leans out of the window to tell her father the house is haunted, and he replies he has always wanted to live in one. As Satsuki runs back downstairs, Mei approaches a crack in the wall where the Makuro Kurosaki escaped and sticks her finger in. She is immediately enveloped in an explosion of the creatures as they all climb the wall and escape into the attic except for one fellow that Mei captures and runs downstairs to show Satsuki and her father. She runs into an old woman who is introduced by their father as a neighbor who has watched the house until they arrived. Mei excitedly opens her hands to show them her captive and is surprised to find her hands covered only in soap. Satsuki notices that both her and Mei have tracksuit down from the upper floor, and the neighbor lady comments that they have found the Sasu Atari. The girls ask if they are like ghosts, and the neighbor lady replies that they are harmless and only occupy vacant houses. Now that there will be people living there, they are probably deciding to leave in the night. Next, the girls go get water and help clean the house. Kanta, the boy that they have seen earlier on the road on the way to the house, arrives with a basket of food for them. Not expecting to see Satsuki, he stiffly hands her the basket and makes his escape, stopping long enough to tell her that her new house is haunted. They all have lunch and Granny eventually heads home and Satsuki heads out to collect firewood for the bath. A large gust of wind suddenly springs up and washes over her, disappearing as fast as it had arrived. Later, in the bath as the storm rages outside, the girls are frightened by the creaking and moaning of the old house. Their father suddenly starts laughing, explaining that laughter makes fear run away, and the girls join in. And in the attic, the Makuro Kurosaki fly off into the camp for tree. That morning, the family hops on their bike and rides to visit their mother in the hospital. Satsuki tells her mother that their new house is haunted, and she replies much like her father, adding she wants to meet the ghost. With both their parents unconcerned, the girls feel better about the situation. Satsuki and Mei visit with their mother while their father speaks to the doctor. On the way home, Satsuki remarks that mother is looking better and their father explains that she should be able to come home soon. The next morning, Satsuki makes lunch for everyone and then the family sits down for breakfast. 
Shortly thereafter, one of Satsuki's schoolmates calls for her and she dashes off. Her father starts to work while Mei goes out exploring. She eventually comes across another acorn like they found in the house. Suddenly, she sees a small translucent white creature walking along. She falls in behind it, and the creature turns back, notices her, and darts off under the house. May immediately starts looking for it, but the creature appears on the other side, now with a larger blue version carrying a bag. The bag has a small rip through which acorns are falling out. May gives chase to the both of them, and they scurry off into a tunnel under the camphor tree. Undeterred, she heads in after them, losing her hat in the process. She scrambles along the path, eventually falling out into a large forested cavern where a massive Tortoro is sleeping in its den. Satsuki returns home from school and, not finding Mei, starts searching for her with her father. They find her hat and, deeper in the underbrush, Mei herself sleeping. They wake her up and Mei asks where the Totoro is. She goes running back down in the tunnel, only to reemerge a moment later, a few feet from where she entered, the pathway she had taken early, now gone. <laughs>